All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Childish. We're back at it again with the next subscriber showcase. We got ourselves Captain Blackbeard. For those that are uh, new to 5001, welcome to 5001. Captain Blackbeard has been a longtime supporter of the channel, helping people out, talking to people, doing it big. You know how it is. He got himself a little skeleton right here. I like this. I like this. All right. So again, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. The Subscriber Showcase is the one and only series that I do where I get an opportunity to showcase my subscribers that I find in the arena. If I find them or they find me, they send me an email, let me know that I bought them, and I try to go ahead and record their arena defense so I can showcase some pros to console and hopefully help them out progress their game. Okay, so let's take a look. We got ourselves the uh, arena defense as of right now. Uh, Vermos, Bella... He has himself a rare unit, Zera, and then I believe he is rocking Brienne. Okay, so let's take a look at the Vermos here. Rocking that Violent Focus, looking at it, speed, hit point, hit point, with some good substats here on all these runes, plus 12, plus 16, so he's definitely doing a good job making sure he's prioritizing the best runes on his best units. I like him, I like him a lot. Uh, small mistake here, I'd like to see him take this one a plus 12 if I can, because again, I think uh, even though he has the speed, and the hit points, there's a couple of uh, other substats that we can get in there that can benefit him. Um, you know, as we go with uh, any particular unit that we try to use in a tanky situation um, and we focus one route on getting all speed, we need to kind of rely on those substats, those defensive substats, you know, the defense, hit points, accuracy, resistance, all of those come included. And I believe that this is definitely one that I would go ahead and take it to plus 12. My guess is he just recently picked this one up. And he hasn't gotten a plus 12. So even though the attack may not help him, you know, overall at the end, I do want to see this one a plus 12 to see if we can get any subset that would benefit any of his uh, first or second skills. Because obviously accuracy is a very nice thing that can come into play here. Um, let's take a look at Bella. Um, I like the stats in here. I like the stats. Uh, speed, hit point, hit point with the accuracy subsets coming from the 1, to 3, and the 5. And then, of course, you got yourself the... Uh, rune subset, the Violent Focus, a great tool to use, guys, if you're trying to get the accuracy that you want. My recommendation is about 40% or higher. It seems to get the job done in Arena and Dragon Speed 10, uh, but he's sitting even higher than that. And again, the, the speed overall is really good. The hit points overall is really good, so he's doing a good job. The only next step as far as progression is going to be switching from a Violent Focus to Violent Nemesis while key, uh, maintaining the amount of accuracy that he has, you know, right around that 40 to 50% if he can. Reason being is, guys, um, Violent Nemesis is a great, great tool for a particular unit that provides a skill that does the uh, attack bar increase. So if your uh, team is set up as a trap or susceptible to Lucians or whatnot, you definitely want to be able to counter Lucians by um, providing the Nemesis to push your attack age up when you get from one Lucian, heal your team, and then, of course, hopefully steal a couple turns in order to stop them from you know, finishing off the rest of your team. So... Again, overall though, Violent Focus is the way to go, and the overall stats look so good that I would keep that there until you can get Nemesis runes with the more or less the substats that you're rocking. Uh, let's take a look at the brand. We got ourselves the spare energy here. Um, I like it. We got ourselves hit point, hit point, hit point. Um, overall, pretty good. Even the crit rate is decent. The uh, resistance is decent. Not too bad. A good base speed on this particular unit, so um, I like it. I like to see a little bit of speed substats on here. If you can, you know, definitely, you know, get up in there in that plus 30 to plus 50 speed um, if you get, if you're fortunate enough. But of course, since he has a nice high base speed, um, trying to get the speed subsets is not a uh, big, big thing on this particular unit. But I do like a speedy brand if it's being utilized in the arena defense. I do like a speedier uh, brand with some speed subsets in there. So yeah, um, the only recommendation is to hopefully one day. Uh, be able to move from a despair energy to like a despair revenge. I do find a revenge set on this particular unit is a really, really good tool, especially for the arena defense or arena offense, whatever you decide to use it. But in this particular situation, I do like a despair revenge if you can, you know, maintaining the more or less the same stats that you can. I think over 40k, you're going to be sitting pretty good, but the 40 to 45k is a great range to go with if you're trying to switch from a, from a high hit point rune set to uh, another one. Um, the cool thing of it is, guys, he does have, you know, almost 50k, if not 50k hit points with all the hit point towers and whatnot. So 50k hit points like this that provides a um, an attack based on max, um, you know, proportion to your HP can definitely do some great damage. I've seen some Brienne's hit um, people and come back on the, uh, 
come back with the uh, how to say the hit points uh, on a defense broken unit. I've seen them do anywhere from uh, 12 to um, let's see here, like 11, 10 to 12 k hit points. So they do get some pretty good job there. It's pretty solid. So yeah, um, overall I like it here. The fourth one filling in the mix is another high hit point unit. Uh, he is rocking vampire. It looks like he got himself hit point crit damage hit point. Uh, overall, pretty darn good. Um, again, for those that haven't seen this particular unit, you got a skill, uh, a regular skill, and then you got uh, another uh, skill that provides the sacrifice of the herd HP to do damage to all enemies, and then the damage is proportionate to sacrifice HP. So, a damage based on the HP, again, though, it's half of your current HP, so your HP can be... Uh, the damage on this one can be a little controversial because, you know, depending on when you decide to cast it and how much you have... Um, can do the can 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 be the you know determining factor on this one. So um, I think this is probably uh, probably the big the big mistake here in this particular lineup. I definitely like this particular unit. I think it's nice and unique, but I don't think it's going to be uh, the most optimal unit to go ahead and throw in here. Um, now, of course, taking a look at some of the other units here that you have, um, I know that you have a a wide variety of units here. Um, obviously, it looks like you're wearing on you, you know you're working on Darian. You're gonna be getting him up there. You got Plady. You're gonna be getting him up there. So hopefully, in the future, uh, mixing it up with some kind of you know Plady Darian. You got yourself a uh, relatively uh, tanky Vertihill. Um, let's see, Brian. You got Brian. You got Bella, Veramos, Plady, Darian. So uh, quite a handful of units that you can play around with there. Obviously, trying to find the combination that works best for you. Um, synergizing it it's going to be kind of up to you and your runes um, at the end of the day though I think you're d making a do with what you got and I like it um, but definitely consider removing um, the light dragon I know it is rare but it is kind of a, um, a limiting factor I think on your team and even though it's nice to have an HP based unit with an HP based skill it is one of the three skills and uh, it is not used every time so again very very conditional skill depending on the HP though so try to find something that's a little bit more reliable I think the Darian, Plady, Veramos, Bella, you know, somewhere in that range, you know, whether you go double revive with Brian or just take one, one revive or whatnot, uh, I think those are going to be your best best for now, but yeah, we'll have to go ahead and play around with it, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. It's a pleasure to make this video for you as always. It's your boy Childish for Childish Plays checking out. Take care and we'll see you in the arena match.